Why do more older adults die from asthma than other age groups? Well, there are many children that have asthma, but a lot of them actually get better with age. Um, it's very common, actually, for young children and toddlers to have more transient episodes of asthma or wheezing uh, based upon viral upper respiratory infections that um, just tends to improve as they, as they go through school age and adolescence. But by the time somebody is an adult, if they continue to have persistent asthma or adult onset asthma, uh, oftentimes that indicates that they have a different type of asthma than may affect children. Uh, so they, there may be different types of inflammatory cells causing their asthma. They may have different triggers as well. And then also by the time that adulthood sets in, there are often other comorbid conditions that can increase asthma um, severity and the frequency of symptoms, or it can make people more prone to have severe exacerbations when their asthma does flare up. Uh, it's really important for anybody, especially adults out there, if you have asthma, um, visit with your doctor routinely, even if you're feeling well. We have new treatments that are coming available all the time. Uh, there are excellent um, non-steroid treatments if people are afraid of using inhaled corticosteroid for some reason. Uh, we have biologics, which are uh, individualized, you know, tailored therapy towards somebody's specific type of inflammation. Uh, but bottom line is we can get your asthma under control. Uh, and that's where board certified allergists and immunologists can, can come into play as well. We love helping people identify their triggers, better control their asthma and live a, a healthy and safe and productive life.